All right, all right. We are uh, somewhere in what month? I have no idea anymore. I lost track of time. Living on an island, folks. I've lost all track of time. Woo! Anyway, I woke up, looked at the old stock ticker pagey, and I saw on the uh, oh, 29 April. Yeah, let's get through this damn tax month. April was the worst, worst month because this is when the government come take all your money that they didn't get the first time around. Anyway, we got Tesla big daddies. Tesla, what is going on? Up 16, 17%. I did not see this coming. I thought it was going down to zero. If you listen to most people on the interwebs, the intermic webs or these crappy financial sites, which are propaganda machines for the big, the big financial houses and the government, those are Seeking Alpha, Morningstar, CNBC's Quack Box, Jim Cramer, The Clown Show, uh, all these other freaky places that try to convince you that, oh, sky is falling, get out, get out, get out. They would have had me convinced to dump my Tesla stock at 140. I was like, oh my God, do I just take my losses now and, and go to my pillow, my safe space with my paper clip, my safety clip and cry? Uh, yeah, no. I said, I'm going to hold. What's the point in selling? I believe it's a tech company. It sells cars. People don't want EVs right now. There's for obvious reasons. I blame the other guys, Rivian, Ford, Chevy, oh, the Volt. Let's remember the Volt. That will burn down your whole neighborhood. Uh, all these guys put out these crappy EVs and they brought down and tarnished the name of Tesla because guilty by association, which uh, I believe in. The cars are fine, man. I mean, come on. Again, you do wreck them. They're, they're expensive to fix. I, I, am, I, yeah, I had a Tesla Model S. A deer hit mine. Yeah. Dumb deer. He got up and walked away. Stupid deer. Anyway, he ran right into it. I just like, come on, really? But once you damage, the big concern is you damage those battery packs. Those, there are these little like double A, but bigger, you know, cells rode in that thing. And you damage any of those things, you have a, a potential from a thermal, a thermal runaway, which is like a little nuclear fusion reaction. And it, you know, firefighters have problem putting it out. They tow the uh, cars to a lot. The lot of the cars have to be isolated 50 feet. Why? Because the damn things might reignite. It's, uh, it's not a fun thing. It burn your house down too. It's not fun. It, that's the only big concern I have with these things. And uh, car companies will not insure them now. It's very expensive. So what are insurance companies doing? Raising the price across the board for everybody. Say you're a good little driver. You drive a mile a year. You have a big truck that's never been dinged. Boom, your insurance has gone up 20%. They don't care. They want your money. It's almost extortion. You ever wonder about where insurance came from? They force it on you. If you don't have it, you get a nasty gram from the DMV going, you need to get your car insured or we're going to come after you and take your house and everything. And uh, that's the government for you. But anyway, why did Tesla go up? Why? Oh, my God. Almost 17% as we speak. Are you watching this with me? Uh... I thought maybe it was a stupid article about the SEC uh, and the Supreme Court. It says, uh, can you read that? Update, 13 minutes ago. Supreme Court rejects Musk bid to challenge agreement with the SEC. Boo, who is in this SEC? Just a bunch of government slobs. I don't know. People that uh, can't work in the government. DEIs did not earn it, people. All those folks. Man, you want a cushy job. I'm going to be, so I'm going to spill the beans, folks. A lot of people got mad at me for saying this years ago. Do you want a job from cradle to grave where you just show up like a drone, dress in your dirty sneakers, your smelly clothes? You don't even have to bathe and you can actually, uh, you know, have sex at work. Uh, you can like take long lunches. You can sleep at work. Uh, read a newspaper, read the, uh, watch YouTube all day. What else did these guys do? Uh, go. Yeah, I said long lunches. Uh, just not even participate and be um be below the mediocrity level at the worst possible person. Uh, just sitting there as an entity breathing. Uh, you want that type of job, and you get um almost cola increases, cost of living increases. Almost sometimes they get they get boned over too, which is you know whatever they don't work, so who cares. Uh, you get your promotion sometimes, and uh, the cost of living increases. You get every holiday off. And if you're in the horrible snow belt, and uh, there's a glimpse of maybe it's going to snow tomorrow, they call it code blue. 
and then they um, close down the government and then you get paid for that. And then there's also this, oh my God, it just never, never ends. And I'll tell you the, what you have to give the price of this is if there's that, that bull, the bull crap of the government shut down and they shut down for two or three weeks. Oh, the government employees are not getting paid. Oh, poor me. Wah, 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 wah. You know, well, what happens is once the government uh, approves the budget, all the pay is retroactive. They always get paid. Come on. They're always getting paid. They don't follow that up on the news because it's not sponge worthy, right? So uh, yeah, you want a cushy job go into a federal government employee position, you will be set for life. What is the price? Well, as if you're becoming a celebrity, a star, a music star, something like that, the price is your soul. You give up your soul to be a government worker, even local offices too. But what I saw is in the federal government is uh, you give up your soul and uh, you just wait Cradle to grave. I'm going to be right, retire at 65. I go, well, you yeah. know, what I've seen too at some of these facilities, they have their internal hospitals, emergency response teams. They have lots of body bags. A lot of these guys drop dead at their desk because all they did was sit for 30 years, 20 years, eating the candy from the corner machine, uh, kind of like Kevin from the office. And uh, boom, they run down the halls, alert, you know, emergency reaction teams. And then they see the little body bag being wheeled down the hall. You know, poor, uh, poor Ralphie just didn't make it. He uh, was taking those long lunches, eating those breakfasts down in the cafeteria uh, every morning, eating all that candy and just junk and not moving all day. Yeah, there's your life. So if you want a cushy job going to federal government, there, yeah, we call it, ready? Oh my God, I should make a movie. And probably there's already been one. It's called White Collar Welfare. So there you go. And that's why the government is high on everything. All right, enough of that rant. We have Tesla up. We have Tesla up. Oh my God. We have Tesla up. And I thought it was that I went off on that rant on that whole SEC. Sometimes you got to do it, man. You got to flush your system and get it out there. Oh my God. But anyway, why is it up? All right, let's go. Um, top and bottom. <laughs> top and bottom. Hello. Uh, yeah. Let's keep going. <laughs> Tesla up over 12. Guys, get with the program. It's up over 17%. Uh, it was, I just had it. It was about the China agreement. Here we go. Tesla Model 3 and Model Y cleared China. China. That's hard to say. China. Because the accent's on the ah. China. Uh, data security hurdle. Uh, the FSD software deployment nears. Dun, dun, dun. Apple and Tesla. Only two companies able to thread the needle. Threading that needle, guys. Woo. In terms of China and U.S., says top in us after t uh, Timmy Cook and Elon Musk recent China visits. Yeah, I'm sure our U.S. government will find a way to screw this deal up. Never underestimate the ability of the U.S. government to screw things up. Yep, or uh, the reason this happened because these guys are businessmen, despite what you hear, despite all the propaganda. Tim Cook, I don't know. I thought he was a DEI, just fell into the job. Uh, I don't know who picked him. Did uh, Steve Jobs pick him? I have no idea. But uh, he needs to keep that company going because all the ideas that Steve Jobs left him on a napkin in his hospital bed have dried up. So now they're uh, just making stuff up. Uh, let's see. Elon Musk, again, is a businessman. He just gets things done. If you don't believe me, what is he putting into space every freaking day? <laughs> They're launching like two freaking SpaceX Falcon 9s a day, putting up Starlink, some other defense crap, whatever. He's got customers left and right, putting stuff up into low Earth orbit. And uh, yeah, and now he's also working on Starbase, getting that big puppy, that huge. They don't talk about this. This thing is bigger than the Saturn V that put the supposedly, wink, wink, the fake moon landings up uh, Apollos and the stuff like that. This thing he's putting up in the orbit, which he did. <clears throat> the uh, Starship, whatever he calls it, is huge. This thing is massive. You guys, they don't cover it enough because he believes in free speech. Oh, my God. You know, now Australia, we should arrest Elon Musk because he believes in free speech. I, what, I don't know what happened in Australia. I think the Chai Coms, the, uh, the commies of China, mostly left China, and now they're in Australia. Man, if you're in Australia, get out, man. If you're, you're dealing with us, these authoritarians, or just fight the power. You know, get off your butts and do something about it right? Do like America did. Pour some tea into a harbor. 
man, go do something. What would you do down there? Pour some fosters into Sydney Harbor? Yeah, I don't know what else is going on down there. Uh, you got a lot of flies. Uh, that's about it. <laughs> oh, my God. Uh, so anyway, Apple and Tesla are doing great with the China deal. China may come out as a winner. Um, I don't know what, our, what is going on with our country. Yeah, I mean, you guys have your own thoughts on things. Whatever information you hear, of course, make your judgment. I just listen to everything. Try to listen to everything out there and make your own judgment. Most of it is 90% is propaganda. They're just trying to say, oh, everything's great. The economy, everyone's employed. No, they're not. Uh, oh, there's no inflation. Oh, this is the greatest regime in history. Oh, my God, I'll hail the new king. No, it's bad, guys. And uh, the whole bottom's going to fall out. So I'm watching this uh, Tesla bounce up. I don't know. Now I'm, I'm worried. I might now s learn my lesson and set my stop loss order. Since thing bounced up 17%, I am not in the hole as bad as I would 40% <laughs> before. Talk about being an idiot. Learn from me. Don't do what I do and you'll be all right. You buy a stock. Be happy with your loss. If, you're, if you have a 10% loss, it may be good just to set a stop loss. Say, oh crap, I bought at the wrong time. I learned my lesson. Take the 10% hit and get out. Because if you keep watching that go, it's a falling knife. Oh my God, and tomorrow morning it's down 20%. It just never ends. So learn about stop losses, the psychology of them. Go to Investopedia. They have the greatest stuff. I learned a lot from that site. Uh, don't listen to anything else, like I said, like a Squawk Box seeking off a, a Morningstar. All these freaking plays, Yahoo News, whatever. You got to go. And uh, just read that, read that site. They have good stuff. And uh, then go read some other stuff. Go to hodl.com. Go, go all over the place. Spend, a, spend an hour. You know, don't go over to overboard. You go nuts. You go down a rabbit hole and you'll, uh, you'll end up being insane. All right. That's all I got, man. I was just happy this little puppy's now up almost 18% since we started this awesome video about life, about money, about psychology. Uh, let's go through some other crapo. Um, look at that. Oh, FCX is almost up to where I sold it, 52. I wanted to buy back in, but I, my trigger never got hit. I think I had it at 48. Uh, it did not get hit. So hindsight, yeah, you, I won. I got my double. I'm happy. My other ones, eh, Bitcoin is kind of hovering at this horrible amount. I don't know what's going on. It's in that consolidation phase. I like that word because no one knows what it means. Uh, it's hovering at 63. And as you saw, if you look at the spikes, boom, 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 they drop and they go up. And it, goes, it was down to 62.2 yesterday. Always on the weekend. What is happening on the weekends, man? Not too good. So we'll see. It could go either way right now. You know, it could go up. Guys, it could go up. It could go down. It could go sideways. And you know what? It could do absolutely nothing at all. <laughs> Nobody knows. I just love it. But a whole industry on tube, on the tube, on YouTube has been made around crypto. <laughs> you know, maybe one day I'll get paid for this crap, but eh, I'm not right now. <laughs> oh my God. All right. Let's see. Woofy. That's a minor. I was up. This is again, another life lesson. First one is set your stop loss. Two. Keep your eye on the prize. I was up. I had my double on this puppy. It was up. I had a nice 20% profit. I took my eye off because I was looking at these other things, these energy things, uh, LPG, for example, and Exxon. It said, oh, thank God Exxon's back. So even though Exxon had bad earnings, they're back. You know, they're almost back. They were about 123, uh, 123 at the highest in the past month. So now they're about 119. Woohoo. But uh, I took my eye off Wolf and I missed my double and, you know, I got thrown out at first. It was dumb. Now I know. Keep your eye on the prize and get those doubles because now I'm kind of just waiting for this puppy to go back up to 270, up to 20% where I had it. So it's, I'm still up about probably 5%. Yeah, life lesson there. Learn from me, man, and you'll do fine. <laughs> do, don't do what I do. Oh, my God. Uh, ET is up. It's another energy transfer, the EPD. Was at highs, and now I bought at the wrong time on this one. Oh, wait, maybe not. That's not all right. It's a, I like this one because you do have a nice dividend. Let's go see the dividend. I think it's 8 to 9%. Uh, blah, 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 blah. Where are you, dividend? Ooh, 6.9-er. 6.9-er percent. So why not get paid for a stock while you're holding it? And that's the bad thing about Tesla. You don't get paid 
You do not get paid. Uh oh, I'm busted. It's the SEC. Who's calling me? Who's calling me? Oh no. Hang on. Oh no. They got me. They got me. The government got me. They're going, you cannot tell people it's white collar welfare to work for the government. I know, but it is. Uh, cradle to grave. You want a cushy job where you don't have to do a damn thing all day, watch YouTube, watch Facebook, uh, have long lunches, every holiday off, any glimpse of snow you get at that day off. Government shuts down, big deal. You get retro pay. Uh, and yeah, white collar welfare. Become a federal government employee. Dun, dun, dun. I'm being honest, guys. Yeah, you want a cushy job, do whatever you can to become a federal government government employee. Yeah, I drive you nuts working with those people. Hey, oh, good. Yeah, I wonder how they're all doing right now. A lot of them passed out at their desk and got took out in a body bag. True, true fact. Uh, they eat all that candy on the on each corner of these long hallways. They have candy machines and uh, lots of food in the cafeteria. All they do is pig out all day, don't move, and boom, they're gone. Ten years in, boom. <laughs> I think the best thing to invest in some of these federal buildings is like you know just the, the medical. They have medical offices and everything, and real emergency response teams. <laughs> for uh, basically hauling you out in a body bag. <laughs> it's a joke, but it's true. It's funny because it's true. Ay, ay, ay. All right, guys, what else? Guys, okay, guys. Um, Exxon up, Tesla massive up 18. I'm glad, actually is a good thing because watching this Bitcoin lately after the halving, it always goes this way with the ETF approval back in January and then the uh, halving, it's like, oh my God, and then nothing happens. <laughs> and then, Wait, there's more. Two weeks in, boom, things happen. So we'll see. Uh, let's hope it goes up at least. <laughs> let's just hope. I just remember this is like up three years ago. This Pompliona Brothers, uh, I forgot his name. He's a freaking conservative announcer now or announcer somewhere. And, and even the Bitcoin Ben Crew, Ricky, Ricky Spikies or Ricky Sharpies, Rippy Candles, these, these clowns. Oh, it's 100K, 100K Bitcoin, 100K. And it's like, shut up. And then, of course, it goes down to 25,000. And then those guys kind of vanish. Him and his brothers. And then, I don't know, some big Bitcoin band went, went nuts and disappeared. Or I don't know what he's doing now. Anyway, <laughs> you just don't know. It's almost like the Jerry Springer hour on some of this crap. Uh, I just laugh about it because what are you going to do? Short of just having your money sit in a money market making 5%, which is not bad right now. Seeing how this economy is going to freaking house of cards and probably uh, next quarter, you know, that's not actually a bad idea. You joke about it, but 5% is better than being down 50% on a Tesla stock. But now we're not. We are not. We're probably maybe down. I bet I'm down 15% right now. One five. I'll take that. You know, that's close to my loss thing. But uh, if it shows happiness like this, after all the horrible news on EVs and everything and Musk, they're all going after Musk because he likes free speech. Uh, like I mentioned, Australia trying to go after him for believing in free speech. Oh, my God. God forbid. Oh, yeah. What's wrong with free? If you're, you can't handle someone else's opinion, so what? Man, relax. Man, people get so upset about that. Someone has a different opinion. All right. Who cares? If, it has, if, they're, if it's deemed a clown show or they're just crazy, most people are going to realize the person's crazy. Or if they have... Uh, Traction? Well, maybe there's something to what they're saying. So open, open your ears, man. Jeez. Yeah, there you go. That's my, that's my stance. All right, what else is going on? Let's go to 18%, big daddies. I think Tesla's going to go up hugely. I have no idea. You know, that China thing was huge. I'm sure Apple's doing well. Uh, we're past earnings season, that earnings season for a little bit now, another quarter. Let's get some momentum. And typically... Historically, May is a moving month, is a move up month. Uh, April sucks because of taxes. The government likes to screw everything up. But taking all your hard earned money and giving it to other countries. Yeah. <laughs> and funding that perpetual war machine, which Musk commented about. The ever ending wars. But again, you guys got to remember the U.S. is a war machine. We are grounded in making weapons. Why do you think we left all those weapons in Afghanistan? Uh, why? Because they get replaced. Wink, wink, wink. Uh, Pentagon sends out new purchase orders to Lockheed, Boeing, uh, Raytheon. There's another one that makes all those hard, hard shell things. Uh, the Humvees and crap. I forget what they're called. Not Orion, something like that. Orpheus. Um, I don't know who. But uh, yeah, more money. Leaving junk behind, more money. You're selling crap over to the McCranians. 
Uh, guess what? You got to replace them. Uh, now there's lots of video. This is so embarrassing. All these beautiful M1 Abrams tanks. I wonder if they actually work because they are being Mc, Mc, uh, Mc terminated by the, the McRussians. Oh my God, they're just sitting there. And I think the McRussians know not to completely blow them up. They just kind of disable them. And then the Ukrainians get like turned into paste and then uh, they go take the M1 Abrams and they're taking them back to Russia to analyze them and don't put them back on the battlefield. So now you have a big Russian star or something, a Russian flag on an M1 Abrams going after, <laughs> going after the Ukrainians. Oh my God, or the Reddit people that go over there to fight. The people on Reddit, let's go fight, yay! And then they get like, blasted because they're on TikTok in a, in a warehouse building and they're getting triangulated on by the Russians. And here comes a hypersonic missile. Poof, oh, they're gone. Uh, it's, it's serious, but it's laughable too. Oh my God, and we're gonna send F-16s and guess what? Now the Russians are gonna have all our F-16s. Uh, it's so stupid. Who's running that show? Oh my God. But go look at that. Go, 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 go and look at that up, I tell you. I go look up the uh, M1 Abrams taken out by the Ruskies. Yeah, I tell you this now, but I promise you later, there'll be a Russian flag on that thing. Oh, my God. Or they'll find vulner vulnerabilities with it. Uh, that's usually what happens. That's how, you know, we took over, you captured German planes and Japanese zeros and stuff and found their weaknesses and how to exploit them. So, yeah, like with the Tiger tank in World War II, you shoot it up the butt. Woo! <laughs> Hello! And uh, that was the start of a whole different era. Anyway, on that note, that was a good one to end on. <laughs> I'm out. Let's watch Tesla. Tesla to the moon. Tesla back to normal, hopefully. And hopefully you guys holding Tesla are happy to see it moving up. Go China. Yay. China Musk and China Cook. Yay. I don't know what else to cheer about today, but that's all I got. I'm out. Bye.